Hello boys and girls, this is about a Sanyo M7790. How I repaired. Okay, let me start here with my pictures that I took. Uh, starting with September 5. Right, so this is the front. That's the back. That's that end. That end to the top. Open it up. And uh, make a note of the uh, antenna wire, right? And then just both halves open. Oh, what happened? Wait. Okay, both halves, and then that's just an overview of the whole thing. It's kind of rusted, as you can see, and just um, it's definitely old belt. Okay, and just taking pictures of stuff as you undo it. That's the speaker wires, and that's just both pieces together. This one here is still connected, and then there should be another picture, yeah, another closer picture of wherever that wire goes, whatever it does for the. And so here it is disconnected, and both pieces, the uh, guts of it out, comes out completely. There it all is. That's the uh, front of it, right? I have a lot of pictures here to show. That's a close up of. The front of this as I took it apart and then here is the um, old belt and all this black was able to come off of the that there right so there's still old belt on the motor okay and there was old and then here is the uh, okay I ended up using a 65 millimeter belt so this is for the secondary uh, belt, okay, oh, wait a minute, that, wait, it's just bumped over, okay, I'm having problems with my mouse here, wait, that, that, okay, so now here's just another picture of the same thing showing the old belt, here's more of the old belt, okay, great, so, then, that was, okay, so I, like I said, this is a secondary belt, I used about a 65 millimeter belt for the secondary, and then the primary belt, I used about a 90 millimeter belt. Okay, um, so I just want to point that out. People ask me, and this is how the belt goes. The, the secondary belt goes underneath, and you see that's all nicely clean with a fresh belt on there. And then here I'm just checking the tension to make sure I have the right tension, not too tight and not too loose. So that's what I ended up using, like that. 90 mil, uh, so I want to say 65 and a 90 millimeter, all right? Okay, and then moving along. Here I tested the tape with my favorite song, Rhiannon, and that's how you do it. You drill a screwdriver inside the motor, all right? And here it is. Okay, now this is rusted, okay? That's rusted and not dented. <laughs> Uh, this is a pair, another pair of speakers. Notice the magnet size, all right? That's bigger, that's new, that's the original, okay? And that's, and again, the new, it fits. It's just a little bit taller, a little bit bigger. There they are, the front of them, the new, the old, okay? And that's just out, and this has been cleaned. This was all full of dirt and sand and crud, all right? So that's been cleaned, and this is, um, Again, not dented, but I dented it later. Okay, so that's been painted. All right. And then, here it is working, playing a cassette. All right. And then we're playing the radio, as you can see the stereo light and the tuning light. Okay. And this is the, you know, the, that model. All right. 7790, but it's, you know, not in the best whatever. And so now we're back inside of this um, because I think we blew a speaker. Alright, so yeah, now we're checking to make sure we get the right polarity of the wires as to how they solder on. And wait, we skipped one. Wait, so that's the other one. This is what went in there, 3.2 ohms, 3 watts nominal, 4.5 watts max. What I put in was a 4 ohm speaker with a 10 watt max. Okay, and then wait. So wait. Okay, so there are those like that. 
And this is the old versus the new. The, the new has a smaller dust cover versus the older one has a bigger dust cover. And this is a um, uh, pleated surround, whereas this is a foam rubber surround. Okay, so, and just another overview of the same thing. Again, this is, these are, I bought four pairs of speakers from Timely Rain, something or other, in, in China. So, and then here they are both, okay, here they are both. This one's working, playing a cassette. And then here is, wait, wait, what happened? And then here they are both playing the radio, right? This is playing the tape and the radio, and then that's playing, okay, so that's together like that. And then this is the Toshiba, this is in the same file, just, it's a Toshiba that I went through, and then we started on the Sanyo. So now we go to the next folder here. This is from, what, 2019, April of 2019, so open, I'm not going to, I'll just run through these real fast, because I have this from, you know, three years ago, and okay, so bang, bang, and again, I, you know, printed them, cleaned them, broke the wire on the motor, you know, had to re-solder the wires on the motor, just good that I had all these pictures of how I did that. Next folder. This one is, wait, no, don't do that. I want to open it this way. Open with, okay, that, and then dance with these. This is also, yeah, this is March of 2019, so that was April. So this is, again, this is the 7790, the AM and FM model. I do have, I did have a AM and FM shortwave model, but I sold it to somebody, uh, AMC Pacer, uh, that's his name. I can't remember if that's Facebook or what, but so here, this is again just a different. I made it, who knows? Anyway, that's just the screws, and just I have all these pictures of this very same model. Okay, so this is how I, you know, got to this and cleaned that and. Yeah, just uh, that was how I how I got to that screw to remove that screw because this is a very difficult model to rebuild because you have to get this entire panel off. And to get that off you have to take off the micro switch and you have to take off this uh, coil thing for the... Um, anyway. All right. Up. And again, old belt and then here again I measured the belt again. I used about a... well, this is from... what? 331, 2019, okay, so, and I think, I think we're done with that one, so where are we, so get out of here, we're in, now let's go this folder, I mean, this is all the pictures I have of this model that I've taken over the time, so this is from 2018, so this is going back a year, wait, which one is this? This 7790, okay. Another 7790. I don't know, I think I've had four of these. I'm not sure. Just. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I got pictures galore of this, so there's. I thought there was a. Wait. That was that folder. What about this one here? Okay, this is a 7790K model. So they made a K model as well, right? This is identical to everything except it's just got two shortwave channels. Right, so again, there it is. The two shortwave channels and the shortwave switch, but everything else is the same. Same buttons, same controls, same everything, just there's your uh, regular tuning and your fine tuning on top, okay? And, yeah, okay. And then same thing there. Yeah. Same, same. Yeah. Okay, so 
So I've seen enough pictures of that. Then what? We got another folder? Yeah, we got this one here, which is what? Well, this is when we made a video of uh, whatever, like I'm doing here. Okay, and then here is another video I made of, I don't know, and then I make this. That was a while back. That was what? Um, oh, I, uh, 2019 and 2019. Okay, and then what is this last folder? This is, um, I think it's the same. It's the same one. Probably, well, 2019, no. Anyway, I don't know. All right, so, so much for that. It's fun looking at all my pictures. Let me just wide this thing out. All right, there we go. And I have, well, okay. So here it is. Okay, I have two models in here. The one I just, let's put this over here. The one I just fixed with the, okay, I want to show you like this. All right, so put them side by side, all right. And, yeah, move the camera down. There you go. So there, there's the, both of them here. And so they're both running on batteries, but you know, in case you don't believe me, there's the cord power thing, right? So there's that one, and then here's this one, okay? And I can't remember which one's running on Zentner's. One's running on, okay, this one's running on the Zentner batteries, okay? And the other one's running on alkaline, or running on, um, <clears throat> running up, what's it running on? It is running on energizers, all right? My uh, checkout batteries, okay, they're energizers. Okay. So they're, anyway, so there we are. So now, without further ado, let's play the radio. All right, so turn the radio on. Can you see me turning it on? Yeah, just, yep. Look at this. And this has record mutes, I mean uh, FM mutes, so when you tune, it doesn't give you all the uh, the noise in between the stations. If you flip it to FM, it's still stereo, but gives you all the noise in between, so here we go. I don't care about you. So flip it over to here, it gets rid of that noise, and then just gives you the strongest stations. They, uh... I can see in this, I can see some green on the replay between this yellow cleat and the, let's, let's and the right foot. The radio off, okay, and hit play. <coughs> so, and this has music search, so you hit that, and you hit fast forward, and it'll fast forward to the next song, which is right there, and start play again. Okay, so, and I didn't get out a... CD-ROM thing, but I can do that if you a minute. I have a cord handy. You have a cord handy. Here's a cord. Right, so. Let's see. Let's get a cord. And hope I got batteries in this thing. Do you have batteries in this thing?
So this, like I said, has a full complement of everything. It does line in, does the radio, does the tape layer like I've been playing it. Make it stop, eject on that, and then just, uh, let's see what, turn this off, okay, and move this one over there, and then just take this one here, and again, uh, right here, let's just plug in the line-in stuff, right, so here's the line-in stuff, and the line-in there, great, and then get my tape, which is this one here, which I think is the same size I was just playing, and throw it in there, Put in there, hit play. There it is. And again, we can uh, hit the uh, hit rewind, and it should go back to the beginning of the song, wherever that song there it is. So now we can sit there and play that all day long. But I'm not here to show you that. I'm going to show you that the radio works in this one here, so... More at imlistening.org. Talk saves lives. Ready up and to curve on your spot. And again, this has the, you know, the same button. It says the FM mute. Now you can hear all the stuff in between. He's like, I'm already in the program. She's like, you'd be crazy if you don't do it. So I jumped right in and have not regretted it. Anthony did it all. Flip it over and you don't get that, so. Become an IT pro in just months with zero experience at mycomputercareer.edu. You go to back to tape. You can play your tape, all right? And which has been recorded over a few times. Or you can take the whole thing and you can flip it up to your line in and then play your CD or whatever phone thing you got. And, uh, uh, wait, I hit the wrong button. That's the pause button. So here you can hit this. And you can dance through your music. All right, so. So you understand how it works. They both have line in, they both do that. Oh yeah, and this one has, uh, they both have Dolby on the tape, right? So this tape wasn't recorded in Dolby. So Clean it. I put it back on that, but I hit the Dolby button. High frequency going. We did hear the bass and treble. This has separate bass and treble, right? So here's treble, bass. It's got normal tape. Put this in here, drop that, hit this, hit play. And, uh, see that there? So, there's your high frequency. Uh, what else? Play something else. something better than that song. things aren't So I've just had 
too much fun here. So that works. And uh, hit that. Kick this out. Go back to this machine here, which is pretty jacked. I'd play you some real music, but, well, this is YouTube. <laughs> Had too much fun. Good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Yes, I'll sell this one. I'm keeping this one. It's the prettier one. This one's been, like I said, rebuilt with new speakers and such. Yes, I dented the speakers. You can't really tell, but they got a slight concave to them. These are, you know, but uh, this fully works. It's got a full, complete antenna. You know, here's the. Let's see, get the antenna. Come on, now. It's really on there. Oh, I can't get the antenna off. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, so there it is. It comes out, goes in. Understand that? And you put that down in, and just in case you think, I don't know. Here's the other antenna, right? It you know, goes out, goes in, right? You understand that? Okay, so had too much fun. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is how I repaired these and how I have pictures to uh, keep doing that 21 minutes wow okay well yeah so this is let's see here right yeah so see how it's a little, little cut concave there and this one's like that so oh well I did that I'm just not about to take it all back apart and try to push this out is but these have been painted and they're secure and all that and so it all works and I'll sell this one. I want to keep this one. I may sell both. I don't know. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Good day. Bye-bye.